give care is to minister to, and of course a minister preaches care. Well, we've had a little break, and Lily has been working hard, and I know you've come up with the answer. Well done. Yep, um, and here's how I did it. 6 plus 4 is 10, by the 25 is 250. Now, 8 by 75 is 600. Add them together is 850, and then add the 9 is 859. Great result. Very good use of the break. Well done, Lily. But before we go on with the games, we have something very important to do, of course. And David, at the beginning of the show, of course, there was that reference to uh, leprechauns and things Irish, and you have a little Irish tale for us. <laughs> By sheer coincidence, I don't think the scriptwriter knew that I was going to tell this story, but that's the luck of the Irish, I guess. Um, now, a scam artist, and this is an old, uh, old-time scam, he would uh, drop a ring uh, close to the mark. If he saw a mark in the street, that is a, uh, a, an unsuspecting person and a gullible person, he would drop a brass ring in front of this uh, mark. And while it, uh, it was brass ring uh, in reality, it actually was uh, coated with gold. And this was called a fawny, this whole uh, scam, because it comes from the Irish word fun, which is a ring. So now how is fawny spelt? It's uh, F-A-W-N-E-Y. Right. And so when the uh, scam artist would drop the ring and say to the gentleman or, uh, or woman, um, oh, look, here's a, a gold ring that's just fallen out uh, from that person's uh, pocket. Um, I can't get them back now. Would you like to buy it? And the person who would be tempted because it looks all glittery gold would buy it. Uh, now, it was a very cheap price for gold, but a very dear price for brass. Uh, and this scam called the phony rig is the most likely source of the word phony. Ah, and the F has gradually changed to a PH. Which is really interesting because uh, I had always suspected it was uh, more a slur on modern telephony and just uh, <laughs> using telephones because sometimes they can be a little bit irritating. But it all dates back to a, an Irish scam that uh, I don't think you'd see happen these days but obviously lasted for a good while uh, back in the day. Nice one, David. Great backstory. Let's refresh our memory on the scores. Toby, 10. Eleanor, 10. And we're heading for some more letters. Eleanor. Thanks, Richard. Could I start with a vowel, please, Lily? Sure. Let's start with E. And another vowel, please. A. And another, please. E. And could I have a consonant, please? T. And another consonant. R. Another consonant, please. D. And another consonant, please. S. And another consonant, please. L. And perhaps a vowel to finish, please. And finally, A. I'll start the clock. Do you like those letters, Eleanor? I think I've got a seven. I hope so. Toby? I'm going to try an eight. OK, hang on to that for a moment. Let's go for the seven first. I had Steeler. Steeler. And your eight, Toby? Treadles. Treadles. They sound good, David. Well, the good news is that Treadles is perfectly fine for eight. Uh, Steeler, let's just check. Uh, that's. Could you spell that, Eleanor? Uh, S-T-E-A-L-E-R. And Steeler... And this may well help uh, other players in the future. Steeler is good, but uh, Treadles, obviously, don't know if there's a uh, keyboard or a lot in Scar, but it's a great uh, musical connection again, a good eight. Good stuff. Well done indeed. So very nice. Toby scored eight points. Well, there will be no shortage of uh, musical references tonight, Toby. Let's see if maybe out of this next lot of letters you can make some other musical word. In fact, maybe we should make that a challenge somehow. That would be a good challenge. What would you like? I'd start with a consonant, please, Louis. Thanks, Toby. K. Another consonant. T. And a third consonant. N. I'll take a vowel, please. I. Another vowel. O. Uh, and another consonant, please. R. A vowel. I. Uh, another consonant. P. And a vowel, thank you. 
And last letter, E. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds on the clock. Did you manage to uh, make beautiful music? Uh, let's hope it's a word of six. Six, OK. Eleanor? Just a four for me, Richard. Let's start there. Uh, knit. Knit. And uh, Toby? Pinker. Pinker. Could you spell it? P-I-N-K-E-R. Well, David, just a little bit pinker than the previous one? That's right. In fact, uh, pinker is fine, Richard, because it is an adjective of one syllable and there is no spelling shift uh, to the comparative form. Pinker is perfectly good for, uh, for six points. What did you come up with here? Uh, well, keeping with the musical theme, uh, there was protein, but I thought if you mix it up, there's pointer. And, of course, the Pointer Sisters were doing the Neutron Dance back in the day. And pointier is an eight there with the I added. Very nice. Well, you know, well battled into the, the musical field there. It wasn't <laughs> easy. Toby did well, though, six points. Let's get back into the numbers for a while now. And, um, Eleanor, what's your favourite combination? Um, I'm going to go with three large and three small, if I could, please. Thanks, Eleanor. That's three large and three small. And starting with the small numbers, two, three, nine, and the three large, 100, 25 and 50. The target to reach is 384. Can we get there? I don't know whether it's because I say, can we get there? But when I do say, can we get there? Often it seems that yes, we can. And uh, I'm assuming that you both have, Eleanor? Yes. Absolutely on target, Toby, as well? 384. It wasn't uh, that tough a one, but um, <laughs> Eleanor, tell us what you did. I think I've got it right this time. Um, I started with three times 100. Three times 100 is 300. Plus the 50, plus the 25. And the 25. And the nine. And the nine is 384. Very nice. Toby, did you do it the same way? I used an identical method. An yes. identical method, just verify that that is indeed what you did. And it seemed like a good method, Lily. Was it yours? Um, it was my method too. It was very nice and direct. It was a pretty straightforward challenge. And Toby and Eleanor scored 10 points each. So Eleanor is on 20, Toby on 34 as we head for another break. Another word mix for you. This time, can ratio. And the clue, precipitation protector. Back in a while.